Hello and welcome to another Sugar Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Subtitles 4.0 offset parameter to make sure that your synchronization is correct all the time. I have created some misalignment by intention in here, and I want to show you what the problem is in this particular situation. As you can see, this is the same exact video as I created the markers before, and all the styling and everything that I did before is still in place. However, when I go and try to check the accuracy of the subtitles with the markers, I find that they are not completely accurate. So let me just get close to this one over here, and notice that this marker uh, starts in like 10 minutes. And basically, that is not the actual subtitle that is in there. So if I move forward, I can see that the actual subtitle is offset all the way up to here. So I can move with the arrows on the right or left and see how many frames there are. Or I can look at the time code from 5.27.20 to approximately 5 up right here. 5.30. So that is approximately 50 some frames, 54 frames. So in my parameters, I can go into the frame offset, frames number, and I'm going to tell it to offset that 54 frames. So when I do that and I try again, I have adjusted the actual, I think I went a little too far. It was actually 52 frames. So if I type in 52, now it's going to be accurate. There you go. So now every single subtitle is going to be accurately synchronized with my markers that I have placed originally in here. If you take a look also at the information box over here, it will tell you that the offset that we have right now is 52 frames. Now, if this is something that you're going to send to somebody, it is a good idea to export this data with this offset. So the timecode will reformat to a new timecode that contains 52 frames with the offset that you actually require for an accurate placement of these subtitles. To do that, we need to select the subtitles element, go into the parameters and select a different function. Right here, we can select the function to export the data exchange. And in here, we can go on the step one and select the place in your hard drive where you want to save that particular file. So I'm going to say choose and it will take me to my location in the hard drive and I'm going to say open. By doing that, it fills out the information where the file is supposed to be saved. And now I'm going to type in the file name, offset subtitles. And now... I'm going to select the export format. The export format, in this case, I'm going to make it whatever format that you can import into uh, Final Cut Pro. So if I take a look at the actual input formats, I can use SRT or markers or even uh, user TC. So I'm going to use user TC as my export format. So I'm going to select user TC and I'm gonna click on export. Once I do that, the file has been exported and I can select again my uh, subtitles in here, go back to the function for subtitles import create, and then change the input format to user TC. Now I can import file, select the offset subtitles, bring them in, and it will contain the exact same appearance, but the only thing that I need to change is that now I don't need that offset. So I can type in zero and they should be now synchronized with a brand new time code. And as you can see, if I go back to the beginning of my markers, the markers over there are perfectly synchronized from the beginning and they last for as long as I told them to last with my little pin on the chapter marker. So that's how you would use the offset parameter and make sure that you export to make sure that when you bring it back in, now you don't have to do any offset anymore and everything should be synchronized. Another benefit of exporting to user TC is that when you click on the edit text input, you are going to see a format that is much easier to understand. You can actually change many of the elements, either the text or even the time code. 
If you want to see more of these videos, please visit our YouTube channel at Sugar Effects TV and let us know if you have any comments or questions about certain techniques or specific workflows that you would like to use. So until next time, thanks for watching.